almost £6,000 donated to Chris's fundraiser. There's still time to donate. The link is below. Please, if you can help and give a small donation to help Chris, please do so. Welcome back to the New Mustaka channel and today I'm going to give you a little bit of an insight into the kind of coins that people are submitting to NGC for grading and some of the great coins that have come back. Let's start with this uh, set of Britannias. These are the first coins to feature the new Britannia photo label and uh, there are actually two special labels that can be selected for Britannia coins. Photo label features the Britannia statue on top of Somerset House in London and uh, there's Britannia ink label which you'll see in one of the up and coming videos when the first ones come back from NGC. Uh, big interest these days in Britannia coins, amazing history, uh, over 35 years of coins to collect uh, and I think uh, you're seeing quite a lot of innovation from the Royal Mint when it comes to designs of new Britannias. Uh, it's one that is very much eagerly looked forward to in the collecting uh, circle and the collecting year. It seems to me that Roman coins are more popular than ever. When you look at any of the recent auctions, you can see pretty great prices being realised for some of these coins and a ton of bidding interest. NGC offer two services for Roman coins. They offer a value service and a standard service. The standard service gives you a number out of five for surface and condition whereas the value service just gives you basic information. The next one I wanted to show you is one I was particularly pleased with. Um, these rocking horse crowns are in quite plentiful supply in circulation coins, but there are a relatively few proof coins around and very very few of those are in this kind of grade so if you do have a high grade example of this coin it's a pretty good one to uh, get graded and this particular one uh, was a great example and got a 65 which is almost the highest grade that's been graded so far on these coins by ngc i picked these two out because they are absolutely typical of the kind of coins that a lot of modern coin collectors are looking for. They tend to pick five sovereign gold pieces or five pound gold pieces, which have 40 grams of gold in preference to, uh, to many other sizes of modern gold coin from the Royal Mint. So this particular one, 2016, is uh, the one that features the special um, edition portrait and uh, very very high demand coin and seems to be rising in price uh, each time I look and the other coin is typical of the uh, vast choice of modern uh, royal themed coins and it's one I particularly like because of the beautifully um, crafted ornate shield pattern uh, on that particular coin One of the big success stories of the Royal Mint for the last two years has been the two ounce silver uh, format. Uh, also the two ounce gold format actually. But this particular one is a two ounce um, Queen's Beast completer coin. A hundred of these were sold by the Royal Mint and 650 of them were sold as a special deal with LPM in Hong Kong who distributed them internationally and they are really one to watch out for particularly in 70 grade because having now put a number of these things through grading over two-thirds are being given 69 grades which means the few 70 grade coins available will have a significant premium the Who was perhaps the last and most unloved of the music 
Legends series. This particular one's a two ounce gold one with the enhanced minting technique. It's got the kind of volume kind of coming out the speaker at the back. Uh, although the Who is probably the most unloved of the four coins, I think it does represent the best choice for those of you who are looking at the market and uh, seeing if they can pick up bargains at the moment because in a few years time uh, it might prove to be a good buy particularly at the current prices we now come on to one of my absolute favorites the 1937 specimen coin set 5,000 of these were produced, so they're not entirely rare, but they do have the distinction of being the only gold coin produced in Great Britain with George VI portrait on. And this coin got some uh, really, really nice grades, so congratulations to the um, customer who submitted this coin for grading and the rest of the set. Um, I've noticed uh, that the prices of these coins keep edging up uh, as more and more people try to add one or two of these spectacular coins to their collection. Uh, the key coins are probably the one sovereign and the five sovereign. Two sovereign is slightly less popular, but having said that, prices have pretty much doubled in the last few years on this coin, and each time I see one sold, it seems to be sold for slightly more than the last one, so probably quite a good set to watch out for for uh, for the future in terms of investment and savings. The next coin I wanted to show you is quite unusual because it's come back too fragile to hold her. Um, I looked at the coin, it doesn't seem particularly fragile to me, so I'm wondering why NGC designated this lovely Edward Grote as too fragile to hold her. Uh, it's a shame because I would have liked to see it in a holder and obviously the client was a little bit disappointed, but um, it'll have to be investigated as to you know, why this coin was thought fragile because it seems pretty robust to me. So uh, maybe NGC are looking at stuff that I'm not looking at myself. Congratulations to uh, my client Christina on getting some great, um, great results on these coins. This, this one I particularly like. Uh, it's a new coin from Australia. I don't think very many graded, but um, it's one that I really, really like. Looks really good. And I think uh, of the few that have been graded, to get a 70 on this coin is pretty unusual. And I think she did really, really well in getting this coin uh, in a 70 holder uh, at NGC. This is another coin that I really, really wanted to show you because not that many people know that it even exists. Um, it's a St. Helena um, sovereign, but it's got the distinction of having uh, the Machin portrait uh, of Her Majesty on, which is uh, unusual in its own right. It's got a slightly different take on St. George and the Dragon, but then um, with the garter pattern that's used on the 2017 Sovereign. So one to watch out for. A few of those have been graded. I think it's a really, really nice coin, which has got some potential. The last one I wanted to show you today uh, is the two ounce gold completer coin. So this is a coin that was never really officially sold by the Royal Mint. Uh, I think most of these, uh, a very, very small mintage in any case, but most of the ones that were available were sold through other uh, distribution channels. So these were not really available over the website to buy. The first two that I've had graded, unfortunately got a 69, but I think even in a 69, these coins will do very, very well in the market. Uh, I would be surprised if they didn't. Um, might always eat my words, but uh, there won't be very many of these around, and uh, certainly ones that are first releases graded by NGC should do pretty well.